Hey guys, so thought I would just share a little luthery tip with you, a uh, little woodworking tip. So I'm getting ready to install some new uh, string trees on this strat neck that I got from Warmoth. Um, doesn't have any string trees and it sounds absolutely terrible on the, uh, mostly on the third string. The third string is the worst of all. But um, very much need string trees on this guitar, especially because I've got locking tuners. So I don't, I don't really have any winds to work with to, um, to break the, uh, the string angle and get it down where I need it. So installing some new string trees. Um, I happened to order the Tusk XL from Sweetwater and uh, excited about these. Um, Tusk XL is like a lubricated plastic. It's supposed to be really, really hard. Um, so it's supposed to uh, simulate bone, but it's uh, lubricated, eternally lubricated. So it's kind of neat. I've never used it before. I'm just really curious. And uh, I got a Tusk XL Irvana nut here as well. So anyway, for the tip, um, very important whenever you're drilling into wood and especially something as precious as a guitar neck, um, you want to make sure that you don't drill too deep and go all the way through the wood to the other side because that would not be very fun and you might even cry a little bit. So to prevent, prevent that from happening, um, there's a little trick that I learned in Luthery school up in Michigan. I went to Gallup School of Luthery and it was super, super fun. Uh, so I've taken some tape and I've got my drill bit ready. This is a 5 64th drill bit. A um, couple of things that you want to be very, very mindful of when you're drilling is you want to hold your, uh, the screw up to a light and make sure that the, um, the drill bit only covers and does cover completely the shaft of the screw. So I've got my, you know, I've got the threads here on the outside. We want the drill bit to cover the middle part, the shaft, and you want to only see the um, the out, out the outer part of the screw, the threads. Sorry, you want to only see the threads um, when you hold the drill bit up to it, and so only the thread should be grabbing the wood, and the shaft should be completely uh, clear. Okay, so we want to choose a drill bit that matches the screw in that way. So you hold that drill bit up uh, to the light, hold the screw up to the light, and hold the drill up, drill bit up behind it, and you should only be able to see the threads. So that's first rule, so that you don't split the wood. And then uh, what I'm going to do is to prevent me from drilling all the way through the piece of wood, especially if it was like a really thin piece of wood, this would be very very important to do. Um, is I'm going to measure how far um, I need to drill into the wood and uh, tape off my drill bit so that I know when I get there. And so what I do, what you want to do is put the screw through here, through whatever you're going to be drilling uh, for. You're going to put it through your, your piece and you're going to measure this distance from the bottom uh, to the end of the screw. Okay, and so that's what I did. And then, so, I would hold it, sorry, this is not a very good angle. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you. So you're, you're just gonna hold this up to your drill bit and tape that off there at the end of the screw so that you know exactly how far to drill. And it's really neat, um, it's kind of magical once you actually drill down into the guitar uh, this piece of tape acts like a little fan and starts to brush away all your wood shavings and then you know you're done. So it's really neat. Super easy trick, but very, very important and um, just helps you have nice clean work and so you don't drill into things and, uh, too far and start crying. So hope you enjoyed my little Luthery tip today. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching.